Oh, OG Percy. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, man. Uh. It's been a little minute, man, since I seen you, man. Thanksgiving went by, man. Right. How, how, how was your Thanksgiving? Oh, lovely, man. Oh, man, shout out to the corona, man. You know, y'all fucked up us this year. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Kept a lot of good family members away, but hey, we still got it in. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we still got it in, man. Yeah. You had a good one, man. Say, and uh, shout out to Diamond Stone, man. You sure did me a, a good a good blessing and a good wonder, man. You know what I'm saying? As far as uh, working me on that cash out, man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, hey, say, say I thank y'all. To everybody that supported me, man. Everybody that did. They cashed in on the cash out for me, man, on my birthday, man. Yeah, um, man, these people don't be there. <laughs> I don't hey, know what they Say, man, again, I'm man. pitching pennies out here, man. Say, in, in, say, I need a penny to make a 20, man. I sure thank everybody, man. Appreciate all the birthday wishes and everything, man. I thank you, man. Yeah, I nah, appreciate that. For real, man. Um, so, um, so, so far as Thanksgiving, man, y'all didn't, y'all didn't have no gathering or nothing like that? No, no, no. You know, family scary. They didn't they, they scared, they didn't shock, they shock everybody and shook everybody up. Yeah. You understand me? His family don't even want to come around. Right, right, right. Okay, okay. You no know, church don't show up. They ain't gonna show up. Family ain't gonna show up. Yeah, yeah, you know what yeah. I'm yeah. Hey, yeah, man. Um, was this um, was this the first Thanksgiving um without PMG? Yeah, man. Sad too, man. It it, it was long. Shout out to my boys that did make it though. You know what I'm saying? Out of um, seven boys, uh, and only had three left. You hear me? Right. You know, show up. You dig what I'm saying? You know. You know, I guess that come. That, that, that's the price I have to pay too, man. Cause you know, one thing about being locked up, you don't even just lock yourself up. You lock your family up too. Right. You did some saying, and it's and it's it's a difference, man. You know what I'm saying? Cause people don't know time. Time don't stop cause you locked up. Right. It's still going, right. But we still affected by you being locked up because you not here. Right. I ain't never not had a lie with PMG. He always show out on Thanksgiving for my birthday. Yeah. He shows out every time. Every, every. That was missed this year. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That was missed, man. Very much missed, man. I miss my baby, man. And, you know, they always tell you, man, no matter how old you get, them still your babies. Yeah. Now I know what they mean. <laughs> yeah. Them your babies. Yeah. Them my babies, man. Oh, little, little Percy, that's my baby, man. Yeah. Pernell, that's my baby, man. Presley, my baby. PMG, God, that's my baby. And it, the ones that's out, y'all know y'all my babies, because I'm still holding on to what I got. Yeah, but them, them four I just named, all of them locked up. They incarcerated right now, man. Right. Yeah. Uh, shit like filing Private Ryan shit. You're, when you lost so many kids in the system, you're trying to say that one. Right, 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 right. You hear right, what right, I'm saying? Right, right, right. <laughs> Thanks, man. Yeah. That's crazy. Hey, man. Diamond Stone TV brings y'all another exclusive interview with OG Percy, man. Y'all know we had to touch on Thanksgiving, man. Um, touch on his son, PMG guy, man. It's doing time right now, man. And uh, y'all um, just let me know what y'all think about the interview, man. We're about to get back into it from the last story, man. Um, leave y'all thoughts, comments, man. Subscribe to the channel. Let's get into it. Okay, so you say, uh, this was the day that the, the wreck yeah, yard... Yeah, man, this the day, this the day the goddamn wreck yard jumped off, man. Right. Say, man, this the day goddamn me, uh. Yeah, niggas finna learn today. That's where that statement come from. Say, man, when I seen them niggas wasn't willing to get down for what they say they get down for, and they locking up all the time, nigga, that, that's contagious, nigga. No, nigga, we finna fight, niggas. Right, 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 right. Matter of fact, everybody, so I called a huddle up, because I told all the crib niggas to come over to the sideline, man. Yeah, y'all come on, say, cuz, check this out, man. I said, cuz, man, you know, I, 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 don't, I don't know what's going down, right. but we finna find out tonight. And this is this is the time that I found out that I'm finna push my power and see if my power is what it is. Cause I'm gonna tell you something. When them young niggas, if you don't stand up, who the fuck you say? You said every, everybody watching. Yeah, everybody watching, man. When them young niggas, when I went to them young niggas, I asked them young niggas, say, cuz, why y'all didn't get out for the old man? Niggas told me I ain't in that first nigga. Right. I go to the other nigga and I ask the nigga, man, niggas can't make me do shit. I ain't in that type of shit. Yeah. Yeah. I got a motherfucking job, nigga. I'm, I, I am, nigga. I got rank. Right. I, I got, I, right now, I'm, I'm a two-star general right now. Right. I'm a two-star general trying to work my way up to being the highest ranking officer over this motherfucker. Right. But you, but you, so it's, it kind of seemed like you, I ain't going to say you lost power, but I know there was some new people coming in right. there. So it's right. like, you got to right. know your, Yeah, because yeah, I was already been, yeah. So my thing, man, I can't, 
That's like a call out. That's like a call out. My rules over there, if a nigga call you out and you don't scratch, nigga, you go, nigga. Right. We'll pop you on sight. We'll smash you on sight. When them niggas told me they wasn't doing, I ain't doing it, you can't make, you right. You right, nigga. But we finna see tonight. Because if I got power like the nigga should have told me I had, he said this right here is the easy part. <laughs> Getting along is the hard part. So tonight, we finna do the easy part. God damn, we finna do the easy part. So I call all the niggas to the side on the red yard. I say, y'all check this out, cuz. I say, man, all y'all niggas out here, all, everybody square business out here. Who all that who gonna do some fighting? And a lot of niggas like, say, cuz, no shit. I, say, I do some fighting. I say, well, everybody get them somebody, man. I'll, see, all you new niggas. See, I've been back there on lock. All you new niggas that just got here, I don't know none of y'all. I don't know none of y'all. Matter of fact, I don't know nobody out here, really. All you niggas look new to me. I'm OG Percy, nigga. Yeah, but my little soldiers that I had with me, shout out to my nigga D-Lo, Baby D, everybody out. Yeah, yeah, man. Say. So what you had to, you had to, you had to make yourself, you had to Cause. make people feel your presence Cause. again. Cause when them niggas see me pull these out. Wait, wait, what's up? What's these? You niggas know what these is, don't y'all? Real niggas, real niggas know what these is. Yeah, he pulled out. Real niggas, I'm always pull out something out the hat. Amazing. Real niggas know what these is. When I say, man, look up. These motherfuckers, perfect fit, you hear me? Yeah. The niggas know when I, yeah. Niggas know when these motherfuckers come on, when they, I'm gonna keep these hoes. I walk around with these hoes on on the rake yard. You hear me? Tighten them up, ugh, squeeze them hands in there. Yeah, man, so niggas already know when these pistols go on, right. it's time to get out. On that rake yard that night, man, I said we had a good, I said we had about, got, we're 30. 30, 30, 30, 40 Crips out there on the wreck yard that night. You understand me? And out of that 30 something, I say about uh, 10 of them. Right, right. Was already on the, was already on the, on, on, on the squad. They was already, they was already certified out there. And so they already know how I rock, nigga. When the yard get open, nigga, the yard is open. Right, 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 right. I'm gonna show y'all how live I am on the yard. I walk right up to the boss man. Everybody seen this on Ferguson. Yeah, nigga. I heard somebody in one of my comments say today, man, you know niggas that talk to the laws down there. We know what they was doing. Right. Yeah, nigga, I fuck with them laws down there. Guess what? But I don't fuck with them laws down there. You hear me? It's certain you gotta know the laws to fuck with. Hell yeah, nigga. You think I can walk up to the pig and say, look out, law. We finna open the yard up for a minute and uh, watch out for us. That's the type of shit I was doing, nigga. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's just called poor, nigga. It ain't, it ain't working with the law. Them the laws working with you. I walked up to the pick and told the law, man. Say, man, we on. We finna open the yard. And he tell me, hurry up, Dips, and take care of your business. We finna cut in and be, yeah. And we had about, everybody, get them somebody. The first two niggas that didn't fight. Right. Yeah. Shout out to KG, man. Shout out to Kid KG, man. Uh, I gotta do them in, yeah, Glen Garden, man. KG on Glen Garden, man. Just had to put that in there, man. And RIP to KB, man. Glen Garden, man. Glen Garden hardhead G's, man. You understand know me? Uh. And I told everybody, let's get somebody. Let's open up the yard, man. I'm finna, I want to scratch. I'm scratch with you, and then I'm gonna scratch with you. Right. And Shout out to my six old nigga out of, out of Dallas, man. Mookie, man. Shout out to Mookie, man. Six old Mookie, man. Shout out to the homie Mookie. Look. Rolling 60 Mookie, I knew you knew your time was coming, nigga. I ain't gonna forget you. Mookie had them hands too. Mookie had good hands. Shout right. out to my nigga Mookie, man. They know who you is, man. Identify yourself on Facebook. When you, when you, when you shout out to me, man, so they know who you is, man. Shout out to my boy Mookie, man. Had, had a nice little roll game. He had a nice little roll game. He had, he had that step and roll cut game when he scratched. Right, right, right. You understand right, me? Right. He had a nice roll game, man. And me and him spoiled it all the time. He, he, he was a good nigga, rolling 60 Mookie, man, out of Dallas, man. Say, man, we open that yard. The first two niggas, I call they pussy ass, you and you come over there. Y'all remember them niggas said they would fight? They talk like, you know, let me tell y'all something. A nigga that don't help nobody can't got nothing. Because the niggas that got something going to be the first one to help somebody. Right. And that's real talk. So I already knew when y'all didn't help the old nigga. Nigga, I'm, I'm for, yeah. So when I ran the first nigga down through there, I get him out there and I run him down through that blender. That bitch, that bitch didn't have nothing. I stepped him like, I hit him about like 10. About, like, I, I say about seven good ones. Right, right, right. You know, because everything I do, my game in fighting, 
I, I hit fast, I hit hard, and I hit solid. Right. That's my game when I fight. Fast, hard, solid. Not, nothing wasted. Not that little shit y'all niggas be. What the fuck? I don't know what the fuck that is. If I hit you, I'm trying to hurt you. Everything counts. I'm not. I hit fast, hard, solid. That's all I practice on in prison. Yeah, right. that's all I practice on. And I ran. I hit that nigga about five to six, and that bitch was on his pussy. Oh, bitch, that's why you didn't help the old man. All right. So when did y'all run him down through there again? I think he was bullshit. I think he was bullshit. I think he was playing with me. Right, right, right. I think he just scared to get up. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw something out. Shoot, shoot somebody else. Cause check him out. This is when I start pushing my power. I seen that it, the power that I, I did have yeah. and how serious shit could get. But I know if I kept it in order, it would go in order. So, so everybody won't get jumped on. Everybody out here get them somebody. Everybody, my nigga. Everybody out here find somebody to get. Patch up. Right. We scratch it. And I got I gotta look at everything. But I'm going first. I never slept this one. You. Right. You the other one. Said can't nobody make you do nothing. Show sure can't, but you better do something now, nigga. And we ain't making you do nothing now. What's up? What's up? You think we playing? Bop! Right in your shit, I go. Bop, 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 bop. Bitch, you ain't trying to fight. Come on. Come on, get, come on. You, you just said can't nobody. Come on, it's your time. Say, man, I ain't out here for all that. Who you talking to? Say, bitch, I said let's get over and scratch, nigga. Yeah. Fuck you talking about this ain't no motherfucker. You don't get a choice, nigga. It's either do or die right now. Yeah, that's how we rock on Ferguson, nigga. Bitch, you finna fight or die, nigga. What is it? Yeah. Nigga, we'll stomp you out on this motherfucker, nigga. Yeah. Yeah, for real. They'll come out here and find your ass over there by that weight bench, nigga. Missing in camp. Uh, we, uh, somebody still didn't came in from Rick. Oh, boss. Them white boys over there telling me with their eyes. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Blow, blow the whistle. I know it. I know it. Check hands. Make sure everybody good. Them some what's going on. I don't know, boss. Put me back on the block. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they checking for blood and Oh, they checking like for that. hands. Everybody get naked. They gonna run the goddamn squad out there and check for hands. But on this particular night, we ran about 14 good fights. Shout out to my nigga in goddamn Echo Heights. You know what I'm saying? You niggas, oh, you doing a lot of looking. I ain't gonna even put your name on there, but you were doing a lot of looking because you from Fort Worth and you thought, you know, we was cool and you weren't gonna rock. And you stood there, you watched all the fight, all the activity, all the activity. But I noticed that you was standing over there like you ain't, you know, you just watching. It's not no motherfucking sideline game. And you fell out there, there. Yeah, he know who I'm talking to. My nigga out of Echo Heights, when you hear this story, you know what I'm talking about. I ain't gonna never blast you because you my low. I fuck with you, cuz. You hear me? But you was standing over there investigating until it got gangster. But I never see you get nobody because you was a big nigga. And I told him, say, cuz, get somebody. Oh, you told me I ain't come out here for all that person. Who that nigga tell me? Cuz. Go get somebody, my nigga. Nah, straight away. Go get somebody. Right. This ain't, this ain't what you, you can't tell me what you, what you trying to tell me, nigga? I ain't come out here for all that. What you mean? That wasn't even the question. That wasn't even at the question at hand. And the nigga got him somebody. One of my little niggas. Shout out to my six old homeboy out of Killeen out there, man. Got 172 years, man. Young nigga. 172 only had he ain't never 19 years old. Got them 170 some motherfucking years for just fighting a motherfucker in the parking lot, knocking out a, a army veteran in the parking lot. That was home on 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 on, on duty. Got damn me taking his daughter to the motherfucking um the um the prom whatever it is the um the game the homecoming game the march on the field. Right. Got damn me and they kissed me in the parking lot and beat him up. They got 170 some years for that. What? Public service. <laughs> damn. And, and he's a high ranking officer and, and the, oh yeah, you gone. I'm high let you. But anyway, that's my nigga. Neighborhood. We call them neighborhood. What's up, six up neighborhood, man? Yeah. Yeah, man, all the time. He got out there and he scratched with the echo, the echo heist nigga. And he slept him. He slept him. <laughs> that little country nigga. <laughs> that's the country. <laughs> Come down there and sleep, you echo heist. You did that. I ain't mad at you. Well fuck me up. I'ma tell y'all something. We fought. And we fought, and we fought, and we wouldn't stop fighting until time was up. Right. And so, um, when the laws called in, Rick called, it's time to go in. Say, man, the man was coming out there counting, and they was putting their clothes back on and being strip searched out. And we were still back there saying, is he looking? No, nah, he ain't looking. Y'all go, 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 hurry up, get it. And niggas back there. 
That's all you hear. Back there, patty caking like a motherfucker. Yeah. You hear me? They scratch it. The boy on the story, man, the next day, I caught a lot of motherfucking heat, man. <laughs> uh, the, the, remember I told y'all about the politic Crips? Yeah. Shit, this, this is where they shine in. This is where the politic Crips shine in. This is where niggas that, ain't, that don't do a motherfucking thing get to say something. Cause that's fucked up what Percy did. That's 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 gonna always be. It's gonna be. It, believe me, man. Everybody is not on your side in there. Right. Niggas in that motherfucker is not trying to goddamn you say the politic Crips. Let me tell you something. Catfish. Shout out to my nigga Catfish out of D town. Catfish would fight. Catfish would fight like a motherfucker. But he was a politic Crip. Goddamn me on Ferguson. Everybody know. I ain't gonna say everybody know him. Catfish, man. Uh. What's that other big ass nigga? But I wish I wish I knew your motherfucking name right off the back, nigga. I I, I scream your motherfucker. I got your ugly face in my motherfucking. It was something. Fat 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 cat. Fat daddy. Fat fat something. Fat or whatever. Y'all know. God damn, I can't get this nigga name. Right, 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 right. But anyway, <laughs> fuck it. Anyway, them niggas politicians. Man, I caught so much hell in the building the next day, man, behind these politic crews. Right, 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 right. Hey, person, man, you know you wrong with the motherfucker, man. They trying to have a meeting on you. You mean about what, nigga? Cause right. you know you had all them niggas out there fighting like that, Crips on Crip. Right. Crip on Crip. Crip on Crip, man. Crip. Yeah, nigga. Cause I found out that yesterday, Crip niggas are locking seeds around her, but not cripping when it's time to Crip. They just sit here and let an old man get beat up by this wood and nobody did no cripping with it. Right. We don't rock like that, niggas. What the fuck is y'all talking about? So what the politician, what the politic Crips gonna say? And that's how them niggas rock down there. Say, man. From that day forward, with the wreck yard. Y'all remember I told y'all we took the benches already. Right, right, we right. We already right, right, went right. from the back bench to the second bench. To the second bench. Under the motherfucking AC, nigga. Right. Now we want our respect on the wreck yard. You hear me? Yeah. We want our respect on the wreck. Now we ain't gonna take over the wreck yard. But this dude's all crips. Not no no blood. So uh, let me Go just ahead. ask this question. Talk to so me. this was like, so this was. Like what your fourth or fifth year going in at this time? Right I'm, about, now? About, I'm about I'm about on three and a half right here. Right, th three and a half. Yeah, okay. I'm about like three and a half right here. And then just a, just a kind now, of now I'm about like two and a half right here. Right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And, and just kind of refresh people, you did like six months in the back. Yeah, you on the bench. Well, I know somebody in the hole. Oh yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and this right after that. Yeah, I stayed in the hole for about like ninety six days. About, about, about like about six months, almost six. Yeah. Yeah, until she came back there and got me. Released me. Put me back in population. I felt like a new man. And they had a fight. I wasn't even I wasn't even out the whole goddamn me um uh, a whole goddamn me hour. Right. They, they moved me they moved me to the block. Matter of fact, they moved me to the block to move me to L block to pack my shit. Right, right, right. You know, I'm you know, man, nigga, I'm a Cut let me tell y'all something. Have you ever seen a motherfucking a, a rag gorilla get put in the cage? I'm talking about it. And the whole time me and he swinging on the motherfucking ball. I'm in that bitch working out. Right, right, bitch, right. I'm in that bitch dancing. I'm in that bitch shadow boxing. I ain't got nobody to play with, nobody to talk to, nobody to listen. Ain't nothing. Ain't, can't talk, can't watch the game, no nothing. And you, just, and you and you open up the cell and you let this motherfucking animal out. I was a, I was a good man. I was an animal in that motherfucker, my nigga. You hey, came out bigger. About. You came out bigger. Way bigger. Yeah, way bigger. I ain't doing nothing but sitting there eating. I can't go out here. I can work there and hit them push me. Shout out to Bad Boy. They made us get on the floor every motherfucking day. Bad Boy was back there with me. He was another one got locked up. But shout out to my nigga Beasley out of H-Town. That's H-Town. King, King Blood, yeah. <laughs> Both of them niggas out of H-Town. King Blood, Beasley. Goddamn me and um. And um, uh, six old Bad Boy, man. Yeah, they, they locked. They, they went through there and did a sweep. They made us all sit back there and suck. We call it Death Row. Yeah. They back there with me, man, and uh, I came out that motherfucker on go. What? Y'all gonna let me out? Shh. And a nigga was playing with me, right? As soon as I got out, a new nigga. Don't even know me. I was still calling shots from the back. The whole time I was back there, I was still calling my shots from back there. Yeah. You dig what I'm saying? And uh, as soon as I got out, man, this lady gave me a chance to get out here, give me a job in the kitchen. God damn it, go to L block. As soon as I go to pack my shit on G block, I'm finna go to Chow. So I'ma go on, God damn it, go on to run to Chow, come back, pack my shit, go on, go on go to L block. Right. 
So when they call that cancer, a new nigga. Don't even H Town. They call him third. What's up, third? What's happening? Yeah, man. They call him third. Yeah, come on, man. Square well, bit. Well, you, okay, so you said third didn't know you. Third don't know me. He just heard of me. Right. A lot of niggas, a lot of like you said, a lot of new, a lot of buses and pulled up in six and five and a half months back there. Right, right, right. A lot right. of buses and pulled up. You got bus pull up every week on first. You hear me? Right. 13, 14 new niggas in there. You don't know who in there. You understand me? So we got a whole bunch of new niggas. So the third nigga don't know me. Don't know me. And I, and I just and I just got out the hole. You understand me? And this young nigga walk up to me, man. With his little stock on and say, oh, I heard you OG person. You, oh, you OG person. Yeah, and I, I need to think. I'm looking at him. Like, yeah, that's what's up. Oh man, yeah, I'm third, man. I'm out of H Town, nigga, such so, so, woo woo. Yeah, nigga, I heard you got them hands. I'm gonna have to check that shit out one time. And he don't even know. I don't, I don't play, I don't play nothing. Niggas don't know to me. Like I tell y'all, nigga, I'm real. I'm real strict, nigga. Right. That's a call out to me. <laughs> That's a call out. Right. I take everything serious, my nigga. Yeah. Nigga, I'm talking about niggas knew I ain't, I ain't, I wasn't down on no bullet shit. I wasn't no bad shit. Shout out to, I always say this name, P Shoe, man. King Shoe, man. You know what I mean? Yeah. And he earned his name, Blue Hands. Because he called his, he don't call out a blood nigga every day. Every day. Not a day go by when he was on Clemens, rocking on Clemens, man. Shout out to Bill Clemens, man, where them young riders ride, man. Where them young riders ride before they get to Ferguson. <laughs> yeah. And say, man, uh. Blue Hands. Yeah, Blue Hands. Blue hands the truth, man. They kept me 100 down though. Yeah. Them boys kept me 100, man. They, 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 say, them niggas got me sharp up real. Tylene service. Nigga, these niggas go to Tylene? What the fuck is a Tylene? Had me down there with the Muslim. Shout out to my nigga 50 50 twin, man. Shout out to 50 50 twin, man. H Town Finder. Shout out to the 50 50 twin. Y'all look them up, man. Yeah, they came up, shout out to them boys who swinging on, swing with them DJ screw boys, whatever they were. Yeah, the 50-50 twin. Yeah. They, uh, the whole H-Town know who they is. Yeah. If, if y'all know 50-50 twin, nigga, y'all ain't from H-Town. Y'all y'all just don't, don't even look at this. I'm not talking to y'all. But the 50-50 twin, I ran to little 50 man down there, man. Yeah, man. Say, sharp little nigga. Sharp from the shoulders. And, you know, I, I took him out there and, and, and ran, 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 ran a couple of times with him. Yeah. He showed me what he got, you know me, nothing personal. You dig what I'm saying? But everybody, everybody gotta see somebody. 50-50 didn't play like that. You know, he's real mentally mentally strong. The man is cold blooded. Athletic, you know what I'm saying? Little nigga had hands. Had had a nice boxing game. Nice boxing game, man. And one day me and 50 50 twin, you know, he, he kept watching me. He used to say, man, I'm I'm I'm, I'm I wanna do a song with you. That's how he talked. He stutter. I, yeah. I I I wanna do a song with you, man, you know. I like, alright, man. Nigga, can you rap, nigga? Oh, man, so he started telling me who he was. I didn't know no fucking 50-50 twin was. Right. You know what I'm saying? Then I heard a song on the radio, you know, one time that I, I know, you know, playing on, on a Sunday on screw, on the screw channel down there. Right, right, right. And the motherfuckers start joining. Everybody was jamming that motherfucker. They say, 50, you on the radio? I said, 50? Nigga, that ain't, that ain't him. Everybody know that song. Right, right, right. That ain't, that ain't him. That's 50-50, that's they song. Oh, that's they song. Now I've been jamming that song for a minute. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's him? Yeah. Oh, nigga, you somebody. You hear yeah, me? Yeah. Now, yeah, you somebody. 50-50 twin gave me the blueprint on how to come home and take care of my business. He made me get myself together. Um, write things down. Um, write your raps out. Keep your shit together. Make sure you got a plan when you get out. Set yourself some goals. Accomplish them things. That's what 50 had me on. It didn't mean 50-50 twin put together a talent show on Ferguson. A talent ah. show. Talent show at the Muslim. At the Muslim, man. Uh. Okay, so 50-50, he was Muslim. Yes, yes, sir. Okay, okay, okay. Yes, sir. He was. He, he was.